Hello everyone, in today's video you'll learn how to integrate your site with Google SSO to allow your site visitors to log in or create accounts with their own Google accounts. So let's get started. To get started, we will first prepare the UI on the login page or lightbox with a login button that users are going to use to log in or sign up with Google. I'll leave a link to Google rules on the button design in the description box. Once the button is ready, we need to create a router page with the prefix login and no paths. We only need one router page and I'm going to call it login. Now to prepare our Google account for integration, we need to go to console.cloud.google.com. If you already have a project, go to the project settings. If you don't have any projects created, click on select project, then click on new project. Type anything in the project name as it's only for displaying purposes. Once the project is created, click on Go to API's Overview. Then OAuth Consent Screen. On the user type, choose External and hit Create. Now fill in the app name, support email and the app logo. On the app domain, type in your website homepage, terms, and privacy policy URLs. Under the authorized domains, type in your domain name without anything, just yourdomain.com or nasria.net and so on. Just beneath it, enter an email address that you want Google to contact you on regarding this project, then hit save and continue. On the next page, we need to add the scopes. The scopes are the permissions we want to ask the user for. For our example, and for basic login or sign up flows, we only need the user email and name. Click add or remove scopes, then choose the following scopes. I'll leave them in the video description as well. Once you are done, click save and continue. On the next screen, add the email addresses you want to test your app with, then hit save and continue again. Now go to credentials. And click create credentials. Then OAuth client ID. Then from the drop down menu, select web application you can name your application whatever you want now under the authorized redirect uris click add uri the following uri is important so make sure to type it in as accurate as possible in my case my redirect uri is my test site following with slash login once you are done click on create a summary will pop up, click OK to close it, then click on your OAuth 2.0 client ID application, then click download JSON. Head back to our site to add a custom package, go to code files, packages, install packages, my packages. This is a custom package created by our Nasria team. Unfortunately, at the moment, only the package owner can add it to Wix sites. We are giving it away for free for the first 100 people. The package will be automatically updated with stability improvements and bug fixes. You can read the readme file for instructions and to see an example of how to use it in your code. 
after the package is installed, I'll import it on the home page where the login button is. Now let's code the login button on the home page. Let's start by importing our package and the Wix location module, then create an on-click event handler. Disable the button when it's clicked, then call the getAuthURL method from our package. Then use Wix location to redirect the visitor to Google for authentication. On the back end, start by importing our package to the routers.js file, then declare a constant for the request query, then validate the request parameters, and return a not found response if the parameters are invalid. Now declare two constants for the code and the state values. Then we call the SSO handler from the package and pass the code and the state values as arguments of the SSO handler. When the handler promise is resolved, check if the result type is success and return a not found response if otherwise. To handle the success scenarios, get the Google user data from the result object as well as the login action. The SSO handler will automatically detect if the current user is trying to log in or sign up based on the user existence in your member's database. Now handle each case of the login action. If the user is trying to log in, call the getSessionToken method from the package and pass it the email address of the Google user. Then return an OK response to our login page and pass the login action token and the user as the response data. Optionally, you can pass a custom title and description to the login page. If the user is new to your site and is trying to sign up, you can create an account for him, then return the response. On this page, we'll add an image to display the user image and a text element to display the username. On the router page, We'll start by importing Wix window module, then get the router data. Get the user from the data object, then check if the user object has a picture property and apply it to the image's src property if it has one. For the username, assign the username to the text element. Assign the first and the last names of the user to the username text element as a fallback value if the full name value is falsy and one last fallback value to prevent any errors and that's it the router page is ready to access the package configuration file go to the site's code files google sso config.json a file will open with a json included with example values the sso web secret name key will be used to retrieve your Google credentials from Wix secrets. In my example, I'll use Nasria Google SSO and for the redirect URL key, I'll use the router prefix, which is login and the domain will be our test site URL. Now to store our credentials, go to your site secret manager, click store secret then enter the value of the SSO web secret name key that we already modified in the packages configuration file in the name field. Remember the JSON file that we downloaded earlier? Open it with your favorite tool, copy all of its content, then paste it in the new secret value field. Then just click save. To test if the login button is working, Click on it, wait for the code to generate the authentication URL and redirect us to it. On the consent screen, choose your Google account, then let our backend code handle the request. Don't panic if your request failed, there is a temporary bug in Wix routers. Just click on the card above to learn how to work around it, and your request will succeed like mine. Thank you for watching this video. If you didn't like the video, you know what to do. But if you did, hit like and get subscribed. We are going to make a Facebook SSO tutorial and you don't want to miss it. Also, let us know in the comments below if you prefer these short videos over the previous ones and if you have any feedback on this video. 
If you are enjoying our content and want to see more, please consider supporting us at the link below.